The sun is very important for us here on Earth. It gives us life. It provides the light, it provides the energy. It's the center of our solar system. I'm Helen Mason, I'm from the University of Cambridge and I work on solar observations from space. I'm fascinated by the sun. It's got so many secrets that we're trying to understand and find out. The surface of the sun is about 6,000 degrees, and that's the visible surface. The sun is a gas, so it's not like a fixed surface, it's not a solid surface, but that's where we see to. Beyond that, the, the sun actually has an atmosphere, and you, you see this during a total eclipse of the sun. You'll see the, the solar atmosphere. You only see it in the visible during a total eclipse of the sun, because it's a million times less bright than the, than the disk of the sun. And surprisingly enough, this atmosphere is actually really, really hot. It's at a million degrees, whereas the surface is just 6,000 degrees. And that's one of the really interesting features that scientists have been trying to understand for many, many years. But because it's very hot, it emits very strongly in ultraviolet and x-rays. And that's when we, when we take a, an image of the sun in ultraviolet and x-rays, we see this hot corona, this hot outer atmosphere of the sun. The ability to see the sun in ultraviolet and x-rays has made a huge difference to our knowledge of the solar atmosphere. The sun is just a middle-aged star really, it's, it's, it's right in the middle of its lifetime. It's about four and a half billion years old and it's got about four and a half billion years still to go. And it will grow and expand and become a, a red giant and then eventually explode, but I think we'll be far gone before then. It's interesting because it's also a recycled star. So in, in the core of the sun, a fusion reaction is going on which is converting hydrogen into helium. So the sun is mainly composed of, of hydrogen and helium. But actually there's trace elements such as oxygen, carbon, iron in, in the sun as well. And the only way that these trace elements could be there and could be here in our planetary system is if there was a star there before the sun, a supernova ex explosion. So it's actually a massive recycling center. So before the sun was there, there was another star there that, had it, that exploded and produced all these other elements. The sun is just a, a star like any other star. It's just a star we can see in immense detail. So from my perspective, if, if we can't understand our star that is so close and we can see so well, it, it doesn't give us much hope for understanding all the all the other stars indeed all the other astrophysical objects in the sky so for me it's 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 quite important to be able to understand our sun and put it in context You can see some active regions. You can see how much it's changing. It's rotating. It says 25 days to rotate. You can see things growing and changing and moving. 